to it's your girl hot age back again with another video and i think this video we're just gonna strictly talk about dark phoenix so dark phoenix i started 2018 for it to be started so long ago you were probably thinking to yourself it should be so much further but it's been on and off since 2018 original idea of dark venus kind of came about with a combination of me trying to help my hubby with a venture that he was going to go into and then also me seeing a opportunity so to speak in phoenix that i could feel right so when i started it initially it was just to create the social media account build up an audience so that i can promo my husband's ventures but it just kind of grew more into really wanting to support everybody else too fast forward to now i actually have a website and the social media on instagram i have a twitter too but i don't really use it and i'm thinking about starting a youtube channel so that i can get like a dark phoenix show going on i'm still working on how i want that to be segmented so it's a ways off but it's in the developments the way that i have been able to grow the account essentially it was kind of stagnant in growth for a few years i didn't really start trying to take it serious again until early this year 2023 when i jumped back on it I couldn't get into my original account when I switched phones, couldn't get back into it for whatever reason. Made a new account, was trying to push that, was really struggling, and it just kind of wasn't working out. It was growing, but just was not matching up to the previous account that I created. I kind of lost traction around that point, but something told me to try again at a while back this year and i was somehow able to get into the account using the same password i've been using whatever but anywho, i got into the account i was like you know it's time to if i'm gonna be on social media or instagram for that matter wasting time i might as well somehow get some money out of it right i decided to start taking it serious here are some things that help me grow my account from 600 some followers to 2000 followers today and that's been over not even six months february march ish so yeah it's barely six months what i've been doing is a i've been posting consistently now the consistency has been teeter-tottering because i've been kind of testing out different schedules right now i'm currently doing five to six times a day every day and it's okay i've been doing that for like two weeks now i'm not seeing as much as i thought i would be seeing compared to what i was doing initially right before this test i was doing three times a day every day and i feel like i was seeing more traction and follows and stuff like that i'm thinking that i also have not been more selective with what I've been posting this time around and maybe my audience is just not feeling it when I go in I can see that a lot of people are viewing it and I'm getting a lot of impressions but the conversion rate is very low so as far as like engagement likes comments with the whoop that is very low compared to how many people actually view it or seen it so I definitely need to work on what I'm actually deciding to post. I'm still working on testing out different themes and types of posts to see which ones I really want to stick with. Sooner or later, that'll be finalized or at least have a nice list that I can pull from and rotate throughout the duration of this account. In addition to posting consistently, I think another thing that's helping me reach more followers is tagging other creators, combining fans, so to speak. So sharing other people's content, commenting on other people's 
likes, content, sharing um, their videos or pics and tagging them in it. Ultimately, to them resharing your content so other people see it. In addition to sharing other people's content and posting consistently, I'm also focusing on utilizing all my hashtags. So I have a template of hashtags I use for each post. I do kind of go in and take out some and switch out some other ones that may be better fitting for that specific post. So con po consistently posting, sharing other people's content, combining fans, and use of hashtags. Number four, this kind of goes into me working on the different content that I want to actually post. Four is really looking at my, my analytics and seeing what my audience likes versus what they're not too much engaging with and trying to post more of those items. Really learning about my target audience and trying to fulfill the things that they want to see on the account and not so much the things that I like or don't like on the account. I'm trying to definitely focus more on them instead of myself. And I think that that does give me a lot better results. So yeah, that is four tips on how to grow your account. If that's something you're looking into, if you like these type of videos, let me know. Drop some comments, subscribe, turn on your notification bell. You don't want to miss these videos. I'm changing the frequency of my videos because I got behind, but also because I have so many videos in rotation and like I said, the personal stay-at-home mom vlogs are getting just a little too much for me anyways and I want to move away from that into more professional content where I'm showing you guys how to do something that is useful to you and not just watching me do nothing. Yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.